Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal from How to Geek, and in today's guide video, I'm going to show you how you can sign up, create a profile, or create an account on the Remitly Money Transfer application for absolutely free. If you are new to our channel, then first of all, do make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also make sure that you turn on the bell notifications in order to get notified whenever we post a new content or video to our channel. So, without any further ado, let us get started. First of all, what you want to do is make sure that you have downloaded and installed the Remitly application on your phone. If you haven't downloaded and installed the Remitly application, simply go back and open your Play Store if you're on your Android. And if you're on your iOS or your iPhone, then open the App Store. Once you open your respective App Stores, depending on which device you have on the top of the screen, you can see the search box. Simply click on the search box and type in Remitly. Once you type in Remitly, you can see the first application that comes up, Remitly Transfer, Money and Send. So this is the application which you want to download. Now if you're on your Android device, you will see a green install button. Since I've already downloaded it, you are seeing the open button. And if you're on your iOS or your iPhone, then you will see a cloud-like icon to download it. Simply click on the cloud-like icon and verify it using your Apple ID password. So once you are sure that you have downloaded and installed the Remitly application to your phone, then simply open the application and wait for the application to load. As you can see, we have been given two options at the bottom, which is create a new profile in the blue button or I already have a profile. So if you already have a profile or an account, you can simply click on I already have a profile. But for this video, we are going to learn how to create a new profile. So simply click on the blue button, which is create a new profile. Once you click on create a new profile, you will see another menu which opens up. It's going to take some time depending on your internet connection. So you're going to see where do you want to send your money. Select sending from this country. So for example, in the search box, you can select your country. And then you can also select to which country you want to send. So once you select the country you want to send and the country from which you are sending from, at the bottom of the screen you can see the option which is called next. Simply click on next. And here you can see that you need to enter your email address. So on the email address box, simply enter your active email address. Make sure that you have access to this email address because it is going to send you a verification code. And in another box you can see a password which needs to be the minimum of 8 characters. So simply enter your desired password. Make sure that you include all the upper cases and lower cases letters and numbers because that will make your password more secure. Make sure that you have typed in the password correctly and if you're not sure whether you have typed in correctly or not, on the right hand side you can see the eye icon. Simply click on the eye icon in order to see your password. Now once you have entered both your email address and your password, you can also see that you need to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you check on the terms and conditions box, at the bottom of the screen you can see the green button which says join remotely. What you want to do is simply click on the green button which says join remotely. Once you click on join remotely, we will see another menu which is going to pop up depending on your internet connection. As you can see, it is asking us to protect our information and sign in faster with biometrics. Now if you have fingerprint enabled on your phone, you can simply enable this option and you can also skip it. I am going to click on not now, but it is up to you to also decide whether you want to enable it or not. It will also ask whether you want to save your password with Google Smart Lock or not. I am going to click on never just for this purpose. Wait for the application to load and as you can see that we have successfully logged it to our account. Now if you go out to the bottom right hand side and click on my remotely you can see that this is your profile on the top you can see your profile information. Here you can add all of your details and addresses. So this way we have successfully created a remotely account. We hope this video was really helpful to you. If it did help you in any way then do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe because we are going to bring you more awesome videos like this one on our channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video.